Alright, what makes a dragon a dragon is the organized chaos of it. A dragon is composed of pieces and parts from many different creatures, and even those of things that lived before us. For instance, long, long time ago, say 15, 1600s, Middle Ages, legends of dragons were all around us. And what these people based those legends off of were actually remnants of dinosaurs that lived many millions of years ago. So, what I did was I went through many, many, many different uh, illustrations, I should say, of dinosaurs. Mainly um, large, car large predators, um, irritator, baryonyx. I wanted to get that crouched, hunched over look that you get with a lot of menacing creatures in cinema. But I also wanted the speed and agility part of it to give it a bit more femininity to it. So I went through and I combined and mixed and matched parts and pieces, came up with designs. I went through many, many designs, but this is the finalized. I had to organize out what I wanted to, the parts and pieces to uh, interact with one another. I wanted to make it reasonable. I want this to give it a nice flow, very organic. Um, so I had to build it from the bones up. I studied a lot of anatomy with reptiles and also mammals and unbelievably fish. Fish actually do help out, especially with the fluidity of the motion that I want to get. Now when you're looking at the body cage, the body cage has more of an organic structure to it than say a barrel shape. We wanted to give it a nice curvature to the spine and we also wanted to have a nice roundness to it. So it's basically a barrel shape, yet not a barrel shape. No. We have the base of the neck right up here. And then we have the base of the tail right here. We have supports for strength, but it's also very light, made out of PVC, very hollow, very cheap too. And I just hold it together with tape. Now Sorry. In the completed form, this will have fabric.